This is a cross-examination of the workshop Lasers coach, and Daryl is going to uh, question him. So let's watch this. Just a second, I'm going Sorry about that, just I just needed it for a second. Apologize to the witnesses. A little emotional right now for me, so I apologize to the court as well for the delay. Be breathing and saying you're sorry, but yet you still failed to say you're sorry or even apologize in the littlest bit ever about what you did on November 21st of 2021. You are disgusting. It isn't about you, Daryl. Can you recall um, what time you arrived at the parade that evening? I don't remember exactly. Do you recall how long you intended to stay? Through the parade until it was done. testified earlier to uh, seeing uh, some of the video footage that, that was played, would that be fair to say? Yes, that's fair to say. Uh, do you recall how many times before today you saw the video footage? I believe I saw one of the videos once. And you don't recall seeing any of the other videos? Maybe clips, we were bouncing around. Do you recall by whom you were showing the videos? Um, the folks at the prosecution table. That referring to the three prosecutors sitting there right now? Yes. All three? Yes. You stated in testimony earlier that you did not see <coughs> the vehicle uh, strike the children that were in front of you. Would that be fair to say? I said sitting here today, I don't remember that. You said something to that effect. Would that be fair to say? You'd have to be more clear. You said something to that effect of what you just said. To what effect? That you, sitting here today, that you do not recall seeing anyone struck ahead of you. That's correct. Then you also stated that you did see who was struck the head of you. Is that a question? Would that be fair to say? In relation to what? In relation to someone being struck in front of you. When I was there or the video, what are you talking about? At any time. When you was there. When I wrote my statement, I wrote what I remembered at that time. So, would it be fair to say that, as you sit here today, that anything about your statement may have changed? Nothing has changed. So, your testimony here today would be accurate to what you reported? Everything I said has been accurate. Do you recall saying in your interview with the DIC that your 11-year-old son and 9-year-old daughter suffered minor injuries in the event? I remember saying they were injured. Do you recall saying that the injuries were minor? No. Not direct witness to the statement. 
Do you have a copy of that? Yes, right here. Is it his statement or a summary? It's not his statement. It is a statement from DCI, um, an agent from DCI, in which he, the DCI agent spoke with Mr. Rogers and wrote down what he believed um, was said to him. Um, it was not signed by Mr. Rogers. It was not reviewed by Mr. Rogers. Uh, therefore, I would object to this being characterized as this witness's statement. Grounds. Uh, if he would like to call the DCI agent, then he may do so. Grounds. Um, All right, I'm going to sustain the objection as to the form of the question. Rephrase, if you're able, or desire. Do you recall stating to whomever interviewed you from the DCI that the injuries were minor? No. Any reason why they would report that you said that? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Any reason why they would believe that that's what you said? Objection. Reported. Grounds. Relevance. Grounds. Calls for speculation on the part of the witness. <coughs> Sustained. Prepare a statement at 1045 a.m. on 11-22 of 2021? I do. Do you recall the gist of which you prepared? Can you be more specific? Specifically, that you heard commotion, turned around to see a stroller or something fall over about a block and a half behind us. Yes. You recall making that statement? I do. About how many people would you estimate was at the parade that day? I would guess the thousands. And you were able to see something fall over from a block and a half away amidst thousands of people? Yes. And you don't recall what that was that you saw? No. Any reason as to why you would name what you saw for if you don't recall it? I described it. So you did see something fall? Objection asked and answered. Grounds. Asked and answered. Sustained. Do you recall what the item was? Objection. Grounds. Asked and answered. Grounds. So Sustained. Do you recall about what time you um, heard that shots were fired? After watching the video, it's about three minutes, two, three minutes after the red SUV drove by us. Do you recall the day of the incident? Not the video. I remember it was after the vehicle drove by us. Did you hear the shots? No. Do you remember who that was reported by? I don't. What did you do after you heard that shots were fired? I looked for all of my children again and made the decision to take two of them into the antique store. About how long did it take you to look for everybody before you went into the antique store? Before or after the shots fired comment? After the shots fired comment. I think I did another lap around the car and then around our blazer's truck and then grabbed my kids and left. Were you able to retrieve everyone at that time? No. You recall who was missing? <laughs> Riley was missing. Daryl Brooks, you knew exactly who was missing. You have the paperwork right in front of you. You guys, I just cannot stand this man. Daryl Brooks is a narcissist. He is the worst man 
on the face of this earth. This poor father and coach having to see Jackson's little body, knowing Jackson wasn't really all there anymore, and the other children and adults that got hit. This disgusts me. Did you leave the antique shop any time after you had gathered your loved ones into the antique shop? Yes. About how long before you left the antique shop? I don't remember. Do you remember what you did when you left the antique shop? I remember at some point seeing Jackson again on the ground. Did you continue looking for the loved one that you missed before you gathered the other ones into the antique shop? To the best of my recollection. You don't recall for sure? It was pretty chaotic. I was looking constantly for my missing daughter. Did you end up finding her? I did not find her, no. <coughs> and who was Ben White? He was another coach with the Blazers and a friend. Was he with you in the antique shop? No. So at some point you got separated, would that be fair to say? Separated from who? Separated from Ben. We were all separated as soon as the car drove by. Any idea where he may have gone at that time? No. You remember talking to him after you had gathered everybody in the antique shop? I remember at some point he reached out. I don't remember if it was text or phone call. Yes. Did he say if he was injured in any way? I don't remember. Were you injured in any way? No physical injuries. Was it pretty windy that day from your recollection? <clears throat> from what I remember, there was a pretty good breeze, yes. Pretty cold? It was cool. Uh, pretty loud? Normal parade sounds. Would that be characterized as loud? I guess it depends who's it would be subjective to the person <laughs> there. Would you say it was loud? Not overly loud. So you yourself were able to be to hear pretty good over a parade with thousands of people? I would say so, yes. You had one of your daughters, Maya, with you that day. Would that be fair to say? That's fair to say. Was she injured in the event? I threw her to the ground to get her out of the way, so she had some scrapes. And would that result from you throwing her to the ground? I don't know. Did she say that she had been injured in any way? No. Do you recall if anyone, anyone else besides uh, your children who were injured? This man, if he saw anyone else besides his kids that were injured, obviously he did. You hit quite a few of the brewery, uh, people in the brewers, and uh, other people that he's seen that were laying on the ground. You just did that to rub it in a little bit more. You're such a freaking jerk. I remember lots of people who were injured. Do you recall? I just answered that. Specifically? You remember who, besides your children? You want me to list all of the names that were injured? No, just a rough estimate. That you recall. That I recall 10 to 15 people that I that saw. You, that you actually observed? Yes. Did you uh, render any assistance to any of those people? No. Any reason why not? My daughter was missing. He was trying to find his daughter, Riley, and you are just trying to rub it in even more. And that is quite disgusting, and that's why I think you did this trial. You wanted to ask these people all kinds of questions and hurt them even more and make them relive that day even more. You are... <laughs> What Sue Opera called you is exactly what you are. You're a freaking monster. So it'd be fair to say at that moment your concern was 
your daughter that you didn't retrieve to go into the antique shop? My concern was for everyone that was just struck by the vehicle. Including your daughter that was missing, right? I was concerned about her missing, yes. He was trying to make this man feel like crap because he couldn't find his daughter, Riley, before he went into the coffee shop or whatever it is. And that is purely evil. That man right there in that suit and mask is evil. I am so disgusted. Did you file any uh, reports other than uh, just the interview? What do you mean? Like an injury reporter of any kind? Just what you had in front of you that you were reading from. That was my statement. No, no. Did you file any injury reports or? Judge, that's a big question. Grounds. So say this to the form of the question, sir. Please rephrase. What I'm asking is, you know, usually if there's an injury, you will file a complaint. To the best of your recollection, did you file any complaint from the incident? I wouldn't consider it a complaint. I filed some paperwork saying that my children were injured, yes. Do you recall if that was a complaint? <laughs> I don't know. Was it a claim in any sort of way? Yes. Do you recall what the claim was? It was with the Victim Assistance Program. And uh, what does that consist of? What, what are their resources in pursuant to the complaint that you filed? or claim that you filed, right? Can you rephrase? What what would be their assistance and to help you with your claim that you were filing? Um, it was to help with any medical bills that arose out of this situation. So it would be fair to say that you had a financial interest in this incident. How can you even ask this father if he had a financial interest in it, that is, I just, I don't understand. I really don't. It's crazy that you asked this man if he had a financial interest in that. He was only getting help for his kids' medical bills due to you hitting them and running them over, you bald-headed jerk. Peanut head mother effer. This Grounds. characterizes the the testimony. Browns. I believe it's relevant to the fact that bills were needed to be paid. It's relevant. Overruled. He may he may answer. I was looking to get the medical bills covered. Yeah. Would that be fair to say that you had a financial interest? And there you go again. Asking him would it be fair that. He has possibly a financial... He, <laughs> Daryl Brooks is such a jerk. A financial interest. That's you, Daryl. And I'm sure you're soaking up all these crazy-ass people that are on your side, probably sending money to one of your homies in there so that he can order canteen from, for you because you can't order it yourself because you owe hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're such a jerk. I would say sitting here today, I didn't care if it got approved or not. I was take, trying to get assistance for the medical bills. So if it had gotten approved, would you have been able to do it yourself or would you have seek to do it yourself? Judge's relevance. Grounds. Um, sustaining the question is vague. Would you would you have seeking would would you have paid the medical bills yourself? Yes. Regardless to price. I generally pay my bills. And that and specifically that matter. Not the rest of your bills. Specifically that matter. Objections Grounds. Sustained. Move on, Mr. Brooks. Would you consider yourself an injured party in this case? 
No. Were you aware that you might be called to testify in this case? Eventually, yes. Did you seek to testify in this case? No. May I ask why you agreed to testify if you didn't seek to? Objection grounds. Sustained. Do you recall who informed you via subpoena to testify? I received a subpoena from the DA's office, yes. You did? Yes. Oh. Sorry, I didn't hear that. No problem. Are you aware of the plaintiff in this case? Objection. Grounds? Sustained. Have you read a complaint pursuant to this case in any, in, at any time? Not that I remember, no. Do you understand that for uh, charges to be issued that it has to be a claim, therefore it has to be a plaintiff? Objection. Grounds. Okay, so first of all, the grounds, grounds are relevancy. Um, it's not relevant. That would be the grounds. You also have to state the grounds. Hold on. Let her get her position out, Mr. Brooks. And it mischaracterizes the former testimony. It does Sustained not. as to both grounds. Under 906.11, move on, please. So you're not sure if there's a plaintiff? Objection, grounds. Sustained. Have you ever had any, any interaction with the plaintiff? Objection. Grounds. Sustained. Are you aware who brought charges in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Sustained. If you're not sure of a complaint, how can you be sure of the charges in this case? Objection. Grounds. Sustained. Mr. Brooks, under 11, please move on to a new topic or your cross-examination will be shortened and cut off. Your Honor, with all due respect, this every question that I'm asking is relevant if it pertains to the plaintiff in this matter that seems to be nowhere Mr. found. Making a legal argument, we'll take that up outside the presence of the jury. Move on. I believe the jury deserves to know the who the plaintiff is in this matter. That's that's very relevant to the case. How can they rule on something when they don't Mr. Brooks, know who the plaintiff is? Please move on. Next question, or I will turn it back over the, to the state for redirect. <laughs> can you recall if you saw the driver of the vehicle? I don't remember seeing the driver. Were you able to catch a glimpse of the license plates? No. Do you recall if the vehicle had any tinted windows? I don't remember. About how far from the vehicle were you when it passed you? From the red SUV. About how far from the vehicle were you when it passed you? Can you tell me which vehicle you're talking about? How far from the vehicle were you when it passed you? The vehicle that went around your Blazers vehicle. 
the red. I guess I would ask the defendant Rams. to be more clear as to what vehicle and when it went around, like at the beginning I, of the parade, before just, it struck his kids. I was just clear. I said the vehicle that went around his blazer. Sustain as to the form of the question. Please rephrase. The vehicle that you observed, um, or rather I'll say the vehicle that you observed approaching, about how far from you, from it, were you when it passed you? Objection, just to clarify, is he saying the, the red SUV that this witness has described as that red SUV was approaching him or some other vehicle? Sustained as to the form of the question. Well, I thought he was clear when he said that there you was only one vehicle. Your question, Mr. Brooks. Excuse me, Your Honor? You have to be clear with your question. It's vague well, he, he as to the word vehicle. One. You need to be clear. Which vehicle you're questioning the witness the about? The vehicle that was approaching, that he said At was what approaching. point in time, what color is the vehicle, something like that, sir? The vehicle that you observed struck, strike anyone. How close to you were, how close were you to that vehicle when it passed you? The red SUV was about 10 feet probably from me. And you didn't see the driver, correct? Correct. Did you see anyone else in the vehicle? I did not look in the vehicle. Would that be a no? That's a no. Thank you. Would it be fair to say that 10 feet from a vehicle is pretty close? Subjective. What would you say? Would you say that's pretty close? It depends what you're talking about. Would you say that 10 feet is pretty close to a vehicle? Depends. If they're driving, yes. Would it be fair to say that that's close enough to be able to see who is driving? It depends on many other factors. Can you not get it through your thick ass head, Daryl? He was more worried about his children. Duh, Daryl. What would those factors be? Eyesight, windows up, down. Um, if they're looking at the vehicle. I'm assuming it would be fair to say that you were definitely looking at the vehicle, correct? Would that be fair to say? When? When it was approaching and when it passed? Yes. Any reason why you would not try to identify the driver? He was in the middle of trying to get his children out of the road. He wasn't looking at the vehicle as you're coming. Yeah, he's seen it, but he isn't going to just stand there to see what kind of face you have. I mean, duh, maybe you would have, Daryl, but people with brains don't do it that way. Because my children were about to be struck. Any reason why you would not try to see if you can catch a license plate number? Because people had just been hit. So it would be fair to say because of what you was observing, that would be the reason why you didn't try to give a, get a description of the driver or the license plate? My priority at the time was not identifying the driver. No further questions.